Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? Hope everybody is doing amazingly well. Welcome back to another lesson of English with Ashish. And guys, today in this lesson, we are going to learn a very important topic that is a passive infinitive. So we'll learn what a passive infinitive is, how to form it, how it looks like, how to actually use it in a sentence, everything about it. So make sure you watch it until the end. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to it. And uh, I'm excited. I know you guys are too. Let's do it. All right, everybody. Now let's understand what exactly this passive infinitive is. What exactly is it? See, guys, a passive infinitive is an infinitive in the passive voice. It is an infinitive, but in the passive voice. Right? Uh, an infinitive is basically a verb form, right? That either functions as a noun or an adjective or an adverb, right? So a passive infinitive is an infinitive that is in the passive voice. Since it's in the passive voice, it focuses on the receiver of the action, receiver of the infinitive. Here, if you use a passive infinitive, uh, the, the infinitive basically focuses on the receiver of the infinitive, the person or the thing that receives the action that is the infinitive. All right. Let me show you a couple of examples. And I'll show you examples in both the active voice and the passive voice. Example number one. I like to help people, right? I like something. You can like something uh, or somebody. I like you. I like this company. I like your house. Similarly, I can like an action as well, right? I like what? To help people. This is an infinitive phrase. To help is my infinitive here. People is the object of the infinitive help, right? So to help people is an infinitive in the active voice. This is in the active voice because we're focusing on the person that is performing this action help. I like to do something which is help people, right? Now, I can use this infinitive in the passive voice as well, which is the second example. I like something, I like something, an action which is acted upon me. I like to be helped sometimes. So to be helped is my infinitive in the passive voice. It is my passive infinitive. So uh, I'm not the I'm not the person that is performing this action of helping you. I'm not doing this action. I am receiving this action. I am being helped. All right. Somebody is helping me. So I like to be helped by somebody. All right. So here the action is being acted upon me, which is the subject here. All right. Similarly, second example, she asked me something, right? She's the subject, asked is the verb, me is the indirect object, and this is my direct object. So uh, this infinitive is working as a noun. Here in the first and second examples as well, uh, these infinitives were working as a noun, object, direct object, right? So she asked me something. She asked me what to arrest the man. So here to arrest is my infinitive. The man is the object of the infinitive. Arrest whom? The man, right? So she asked me, to do something. So the doer of the action is me here, right? And uh, the infinitive is in the active voice. Okay. Now, if I want to focus on the receiver of the action, which is the infinitive, I'll use the infinitive in the passive voice. She asked me, me to receive an action, not do an action, not perform an action. She asked me to perform an action here to arrest the man here. She asked me to be arrested to be arrested by somebody else. So I am not going to do this action. I'm not going to perform this action. I am going to be acted upon this action by somebody else. Somebody else is going to arrest me. So she asked me to receive an action, which is to be arrested. So to be arrested, arrested is my passive infinitive, right? An infinitive in the passive voice. Third example, I feel terrible to have fired him. So here I is the subject, feel is the verb, terrible is the complement, subject complement. I feel terrible. Why? Why do I feel terrible? To have fired him. Now, uh, this is an infinitive phrase uh, which is in the perfect form. So we call it a perfect infinitive. I have a lesson on that as well. I have a video on that. You can watch the video. Uh, all right. So I feel terrible. Uh, why to have done something to have fired him 
so to have fired is my infinitive and him is the object of the infinitive right so i feel terrible to have done something in the past so it refers to a past time a perfect infinitive refers to a past time and that time is always prior to the time that the main verb refers to all right so i feel terrible to have fired him this is in the active voice so this this action firing was done by me right it's in the active voice another example i feel terrible i feel terrible why to have received an action to have been fired by him i feel bad i feel terrible why because an because of an action that happened in the past and i received that action i did not do that action i did not perform that action i received that action so in the first example i feel terrible because of an action that i performed in the past right let me clear this so in the first example i feel terrible because of an action that i performed that i performed right but in the second example i feel terrible because of an action an infinitive right that i received so here i did not perform this action firing i received it somebody else fired me i feel terrible to have been fired by him you see the doer right so i feel terrible to have been fired by him uh, this is called uh, simple infinitive simple infinitive infinitive and this is called perfect infinitive all right so now we know how to use an infinitive in the passive voice right uh, how it looks like when you use it in the passive voice what meaning it gives all right now understand this guys an infinitive has four forms and these are simple simple continuous perfect and perfect continuous all right a simple infinitive refers to a present time or the same time the verb refers to that could be near uh, near the time the main verb refers to as well not the same could be near as well all right a simple continuous infinitive refers to an action that is happening uh, at the same time the 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 main verb is taking place all right or near that time a perfect infinitive refers to a time that is prior uh, prior to the time that is shown by the main verb right so it refers to a past time a perfect uh, continuous infinitive refers to a past uh, time where the infinitive the action is happening all right now understand this all these four forms of infinitives can be used in the active voice but only simple infinitives and perfect infinitives can be used in both the active voice and the passive voice simple continuous infinitives and perfect continuous continuous infinitives cannot be used in the passive voice all right let me show you some examples and make you understand this so simple infinitive in the active voice this is how we form it 2 plus base form of a verb 2 plus base form of a verb for an example i like to teach kids i like what to teach kids so to teach is my infinitive this is in the active voice now in the passive voice this is how the structure looks like we use 2 plus b plus past participle form of verb which is v3 right so i like to teach kids i like to be taught by kids all right i like to be taught by kids this is a passive infinitive this is a simple infinitive in the passive voice all right continuous infinitive uh, this is 2 plus b plus a progressive form of verb right let me write this write this 2 plus b plus continuous form of a verb all right for an example you seem to be dating riya you seem what to be doing something to be dating riya right this is my infinitive phrase in the active voice in the active voice there is no passive structure and since there is no passive structure we can't have an example perfect infinitive right uh, this is how it looks like 2 plus have plus past participle all right you seem to have made a mistake here you seem what to have done something to have made made what a mistake here right so to have made is my perfect infinitive in the active voice because this action uh, making was done by the subject you right it was done by me okay 
In the passive voice, it is uh, the structure looks like this to followed by have followed by been followed by past participle, right? You seem to have been beaten brutally. You seem to have been beaten. You seem to have been called. You seem to have been fired. All right. I am glad to have been selected by you. All right. So this is how a passive infinitive uh, in perfect uh, form looks like. All right. Two plus have plus been plus a past participle. Okay. Now perfect continuous infinitive. It looks like this in the active voice. Two plus have plus been followed by a present participle, which is an ing form of a verb. I am glad. I am glad uh, to have been meditating. I am happy about an action that has been going on that I have been doing. I am glad to have been doing something to have been meditating. Now this doesn't have a passive structure. All right. So these are all four types of infinitive, all four forms of infinitive, and their structures in both the active voice and the passive voice right now let's look at uh, passive infinitives two types of passive infinitives and their structures with some examples number one passive infinitive which is in the simple form okay this is how it looks like two followed by b followed by a past participle which is third form of a verb and the second passive infinitive is a perfect infinitive not simple my bad a perfect infinitive right this is pass perfect passive infinitive uh, this is how it looks like two plus have plus been followed by past participle third form of verb now let's take some examples and master them example number one we just want to be loved we is my subject just is my adverb subject this is just an adverb want is a verb main verb to be loved is my passive infinitive pi let's just call it pi passive infinitive and this is working as the object of the verb want right working as a noun we just want what an action that we receive that we don't do that we don't perform that we receive we just want what you can want a person i want you you can want a thing i want your house your money you can also want an action i want to play with you i want to make you happy i want to sleep with you i want to teach you i want to love you all right you can want an action that you do or somebody else does similarly you can want an action that is acted upon you as well right so here i want we want an action that is performed upon us that we receive right that somebody else performs upon us we just want to be loved if this was in the active voice this is how it would look like we just want to love you all right or somebody else that's not the case okay let me clear this second example all she wanted was all she wanted was to be appreciated by the management all she wanted is my subject was is my linking verb main verb to be appreciated by the government is the subject complement where to be appreciated is my passive infinitive is my passive infinitive working as the subject complement all she wanted was what to receive an action which is to be appreciated by the doer which is the management and both these examples have simple infinitives in the passive voice these are simple passive infinitives example number three i was never happy to have been given that task so I is my subject, was is my linking verb, never is an adverb, happy is an adjective, subject complement. And this is uh, basically an adjective complement that, that is giving information about happy, the subject complement. I was never happy in what regards, in what, in what context to have been given that task. So I was never happy about an action that happened upon me, that I received in the past. All right. I was never happy to be given that task. I can also say this. I can use a simple passive infinitive as well. But when you specifically want to refer uh, to the past, right, uh, a past time, which is prior to the time that is shown by the main verb, use a perfect infinitive. All right. Because that is what it, it is for, right, to refer to a past action that is 
prior to uh, the the time shown by the main verb all right i was never happy to have been given that task if this was in the active voice uh, it would be i was never happy to have given him that task all right because i did the action that's not the case here last example you seem use the subject seem is the verb you seem to have been hurt too much by people you seem to have been hurt too much by people so you seem to have received an action by by whom people right the doer is right there so you seem to have been hurt too much so to have been hurt is my infinitive passive infinitive in the perfect form right and to have been hurt too much by people is my infinitive phrase all right now there is another passive infinitive which is bare passive infinitive and these uh, infinitives come after a modal verb so the verb form that comes after a modal auxiliary verb is considered an infinitive by many grammarians and this is called a bare infinitive or a zero infinitive see the verb that comes after so we have a subject we have a verb right a uh, modal auxiliary verb and the verb the verb that comes after a modal auxiliary verb a modal verb is called a bare infinitive bare infinitive or a zero infinitive all right it's called bare infinitive or zero infinitive now it can be in the active voice or the passive voice when it's in the passive voice we'll call it a passive infinitive <laughs> a bare passive infinitive or a zero passive infinitive whatever you want to call it all right i want you to understand the term how it came into existence what is the logic behind it and i i think now you do all right so what is the structure uh so, so this is a structure of a sentence right we have a subject we have a modal verb and this expression b plus past participle is my passive infinitive simple passive infinitive which is a bare infinitive or a zero infinitive with examples you'll understand this we'll take some examples uh, and uh, so this is a simple infinitive in the passive form right bare simple infinitive in the passive form right perfect infinitive in the passive form looks like after a modal verb it will have have uh, sorry uh, it will have have followed by been followed by past participle the particle to will be missing it won't be there after the modal verb understand this the particle to that you have generally in an infinitive that comes in the beginning of the infinitive is missing here in the bare infinitive all right let's take some examples and understand this first case active voice i should pay him more i is my subject should is my helping verb modal verb and pay is my bare infinitive right i'll call it a bare infinitive which is the main verb all right but we'll call it a bare infinitive and pay him is my infinitive phrase bare infinitive phrase and this is in the active voice i should do something not receive an action i should perform perform an action but you when you want your infinitive to be in the passive voice when you want to focus on the receiver not uh, the the doer of the action use the passive voice i should be paid more i should be paid more i should not pay more i should be paid more by somebody else somebody should pay me more all right this is another way to say this active voice another she could kill him she could what kill him she could do something she could do something this is my bare infinitive in the active voice she could perform an action passive voice she could receive an action she could be killed by somebody and these are simple infinitives in the passive form now perfect infinitive active voice i may have offered her a job at the party i may have offered this is my perfect infinitive in the active voice i may have done something i may have offered her her what a job where at the party passive voice i may have been offered i may have received an action i may have been offered offered what a job where at the party by whom by somebody 
we're not mentioning the doer of the infinitive. All right. I may have been offered a job at the party. I may have been offered a job is my infinitive phrase, bare infinitive phrase. All right. So now we know what different uh, types of infinitives, different forms of infinitives, how they look like, when to use uh, them in the active voice, when to use them in the passive voice, right? You know everything. Now, I have a task for you. On your screen are some examples, some sentences with a blank, right? You have to use an infinitive in the blank in the passive form, all right? Try to do that and share your answers in the comment section below. And the answers to these uh, questions are there on my website as well, right? So all you have to do is just check out my website, right? It's a very detailed post, right? Uh, the link uh, to, to the uh, post will be there in the description, right? If you want to uh, know more about infinitives in general, I have a post on that as well. I have a video on, on our channel as well. You can do that as well. And if you have any question, any doubt, do let me know. Uh, I'll be more than happy to help and I'll see you guys very soon. Till then, keep learning, have fun, I'm out.